Hi guys, so welcome back. So recently I was going through some of the uh, most common uh, comments that I've received on my channel over the couple of um, weeks and I see that this has been the most common one, like a videos on how you can create a working paper account um, that will be strong, that I'll send, receive, and will be fully verified. So in today's video, I'll be responding and asking this question on how you can create a working US paper account while you live right here in Nigeria. Uh, so before we dive in, let me try to give you guys um, a deep um, overview of what or how we're going to approach things. As we all know, Nigerians are not allowed to use separate accounts. And I um, as a US um, person, there are two ways in which you can use paper there. Is that as an individual or as a business? As an individual, it might not be realistic for us as an Nigeria because as an individual, you will be in need of an SSA. That means a social security number, which is not available for Nigerians, okay? But as a business, SSN is not something that is really, really primal today. What they need is your EIN. What I mean by EIN is an employer identification number. And this is always available to every business in the US. So either you are um, into tech, you are, no matter the business you are, once you have a business register, the same way we have a BN, and it's a business number in Nigeria, EIN is being used in the US, okay? So, one, before you can proceed to this method I'm going to be talking about in this video, you need to have have your business fully and duly registered in the US. Then with that, you can proceed. Once your business is registered in the US, then you can continue with this video. But if not, this video might not really be of much up to you, okay? So to get started, you need your business to be fully registered in the US one. And if you need help on that, you can take some of the videos I've talked about. We are talking about business registration in the US and I trust and everything. And now you can find your business in the US. Then secondly, you will be in need of an RDP. An RDP is just a virtual computer, and if you need help on that, you can get an RDP. This is Ionix, this is my own personal RDP that is located in the US. So just what RDP does for you is, it gives you a second computer, a second system in a particular location where you want it to be. Why I will be using RDP for this account is because one, for, this, for the security of the account, and also, for the longevity of the account. Over the years, I realized that even though you have your business fully verified and everything, once you are logging for the Nigerian IP, along the line, after a couple of months, you might actually end up using the account. Even when you don't do anything, <laughs> that is the part for you. We have to be very, very factual here so that you understand what we're trying to do, okay? Once you have your RDP right here, if you need help, you can check the description of this video. I'm going to drop a link on how you can get your own RDP right here. This is just less than five dollar every month and I can always access my computer anytime I need it. So the RDP will give you your IP address. This will be your new computer IP address that will be using your administrator and the password and the UUID. But eventually what you need is this and this. So once you have that um let me close this guy so I can explain it. Once you once you have that, just click on your computer, search for RDP, that means the remote desktop connection. Click on it that you can see this is my IP. I already have my IP preview. I already have my IP, you know, um RDP connected to my computer. So if I click on connect, there's going to connect me to my remote desktop computer. You realize that this remote desktop computer is like the second computer to what I have, okay? I want to get started with the registration process right away. Then once you get here, click on sign up. And click on yes. So they give you these two particular options. I'll be choosing going for a business paper. I'm going for a business paper, click on get started. So for your first time, you please use your real name, use your real details and status with your international passport that you have with you that you can be used for verification in later days. Okay. Let me use my name. Okay, let me use my okay and a password. Click on agree and create account. So it takes you up here. You can see we just need the basic, like the name, contact info, and the tax ID. These include your date of birth and home address. We, we keep all your data secured. No credit check, okay? 
then I have to check my email. So I have to leave my desktop, my RDP now, go back to my normal email, and let me go check for that particular email right here. Um, okay, you can see. First, let me copy this link. Copy. Going back to my RDP. Let me paste it up here first. So you can see I've successfully verified my email now. Let me click on continue. But there's one other email that they sent to me really I set up this account. You can see it said we need some information about you. Why do we need this information? We want to confirm this that the info in your paper account is accurate as we notice some suspicious activities on your account. So it is always nice that you see this first when you're trying to set up the account, okay? Then just go back to my RDP. I'm going back here, click on let's go. So tell us about yourself for security uh, for security you always verify the info of the account for that then just say um individual you are a sole proprietor single owner or you sell on the site for example this company is for multi-member LLC but what i have is an individual LLC come here and put my date your date of birth as what tallies with what you have And what I always use for this address, my business is registered in this particular address I'm using. Yeah, in Jetson Street, in Jefferson. So whenever you, so at this point, when asked for the SSN, just enter your ER here. For me, um, I already have a business file, and this is my ER right name. Sorry, I'm be adding by the time you see this video. This is my ER right here. Um, so let me go back right up to this place. Then I click on next. Then it's going to take you up right here where you provide some information about what your business does. So here it's saying what your customer know you by and what shows up on their credit card. So that means whenever any customer is trying to make payment with you for you, either to the credit card, what do you want it to show? So for us, I want it to show an XZ. What is the primary uh, uh, currency of for your business? Is in USD. What product or service do you offer? So here we also. Uh, We are not computer store. Let me see. Let me let's let's try to find what is really related to what we do at NNC. Uh not utilities, computing. Um okay, I'm trying I'm just trying to locate the best definition for our business. Let me see. Okay. Let me just choose business services. Let me just say zero to ten thousand USD every month. Do you have a business website? Yes, we do. And it sees this. Um, that is our website. So when asked for this for your phone number now, so this phone number, what will you be providing right here? What is a Google Voice number? Okay, so you also make use of a Google Voice number for this. Okay, um, let me try and get my Google Voice. So if you're wondering or not, you can get the Google Voice for this particular number. Please check the description of this video where I talked about how I was able to get a um, Google Voice for my own um, business. Okay, uh, let me go right here. Let me go here, then voice.
All right, so this is my Google Voice number. Let me copy it. Go back here. And paste it. Okay. Now, my address now. So, just make sure you use the same address as what was used when you are filing your business. Okay. And then click on next. All right, so here, here is a copy of my extensive passport. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, to go ahead and download it. And after downloading it, then I go back to paper. Click on here. Click on passport photo. Click right here. Go back to my downloading is it. Select it to upload it. And submit. So once it has done, then go to your home page. That means you reach to the end of the onboarding process. <coughs> so by the time you now want to link a bank account now, this is where the test comes from. PayPal, uh, you know, they they don't accept Nigerians as you all know. So if you have a transferwise account that has a US bank account, you can easily get this link up right here, and that will sort it up, and that will make your account be strong, completely verified, and ready to start making accepting or receiving payments okay let me click on choose your bank and once you get on this click on choose your bank now ordinarily ordinarily transfer wise is not available um ordinarily TransferWise is not a financial institution in the US, okay? But they are in a very strong partnership with Community Federal Savings Bank in the US. So what you have to come here is just search for Community Federal Savings Bank. Yeah, this guy, click on it. And after you click on it, so it takes you up here. You don't have a login to log into Community Federal Bank. You don't even have a login, an email, and password for, for the internet banking. So, what you have to do is just click on link your bank account, then come to routing number. So, your routing number now, for the routing number, let's go back to TransferWise. All right, so come here, copy the ACH and wire routing number. Let's go back to the RDP and let me paste it here. Then this is your account number. Copy that to then go back, paste your account number. Though this account is related to my personal and not my business. So if you have a business account, maybe you have a business account on YC, you can also link that, but it's related to my personal account. So let me just click on agree and link. So PayPal is going to send down two deposits to your account. The deposits are always very small, maybe 0 0.01, 0 0.05. This is just a way of confirming that you actually really own this account. So in, in the next video, by the time these two deposits come in, sometimes it takes up to 24 to 48 hours. And if it's weekends, they don't send deposit on this weekend. That means you have to you receive it on WISE as is a deposit by Monday. Then I will come back to verify this account and we can we will be able to proceed with it. Thank <laughs> you.